So in today's video, we are going to solve some questions involving tables in modulo arithmetic. In this video, we are going to solve two questions. Now let's take the first question. Question 1. Draw an addition table for arithmetic modulo 5 using the table A. Evaluate I. 2 plus 4 in a bracket plus 3 plus 4 also in a bracket. I I. 1 plus 2 in a bracket, plus 4, and then I, 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 2 plus into brackets, 1 plus 4. B. Find the truth sets of 3 plus n equals 2. So let's solve this question together. Now in solving this question, the first thing we are going to do is to write down the values that are found in modulo 5. So for modulo 5, it consists of 5 numbers, starting from 0 and then ending at a value that is 1 less than 5. So in modulo 5, we have the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are the numbers that are found in modulo 5. Now let's draw the addition table. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So we've been able to construct the addition table. Now let's fill out the table. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 2 is 2. 0 plus 3 is 3. 0 plus 4 is 4. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. And then 1 plus 4 is 5. Now because we are working with mode 5, we can't have 5 in the table. So we are going to divide 5 by 5 which will give us 1, remainder 0. Now since we are interested in the remainder, we are going to write the remainder in the table. So that is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, remainder 0. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 divided by 5 is 1. Remainder 1. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 plus 2 is 5. Divided by 5 is 1. Remainder 0. So 0. This one is going to be 1. And then we have 2. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So we are going to have remainder 0. Remainder 1. Remainder 2. Remainder 3. So this is the complete form of our addition table. So from the table, let's evaluate i, 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 and then i, 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 and then we are also going to solve for b. So for i, we are to evaluate 2 plus 4 in a bracket plus 3 plus 4 also in a bracket. Now this is equal to we are going to solve what's in the bracket first. So from the table, 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 gives 1. So 2 plus 4 gives 1. So that's going to be 1 plus 3 plus 4. We have 3 here and then we have 4 here. So 3 plus 4 is 2. So we are going to have 1 plus 2. Also from the table, 1 plus 2 gives 3. So we have 1 plus 2 to be 3. Let's solve for i i. For i i, we are going to evaluate 1 plus 2 in a bracket plus 4. Now this is equal to we have 1 plus 2 from the table 1 plus 2. That is 3. So we have 3 plus 4. This is 3 and then this is 4. 3 plus 4 is 2. 
so this is the value for 1 plus 2 in the bracket plus 4 now for i i i we are going to evaluate 2 plus into bracket 1 plus 4 now let's solve brackets first so 1 plus 4 this is 1 and then this is 4 so 1 plus 4 gives 0 so we have 2 plus 0 from the table this is 2 and then this is 0 so 2 plus 0 gives 2 so this is 2 so this is the value for 2 plus into brackets 1 plus 4 from the table now let's solve for b we are going to find the truth sets of 3 plus n equals 2 so basically what we are going to do is we are going to find the value of n which satisfies this equation so we are going to put n to be each of the numbers in the set that is 0 1 2 3 and then 4 we are going to substitute all these values in place of n in this equation to determine which of the values of n is going to give us 2 so let's start off with 0 3 plus 0 is equal to 3 now since 3 is not the same as 2 it means that n equals 0 does not satisfy this equation now let's move on to 1 3 plus 1 is 4 4 is not equal to 2 so n equals 1 does not satisfy this equation now let's move on to 2 3 plus 2 gives 0 since 0 is not equal to 2 it means that n equals 2 does not satisfy this equation let's move on to n equals 3 now 3 plus 3 is equal to 1 which also does not satisfy the equation let's move on to 4 3 plus 4 is 2 now 2 satisfies this equation therefore from the table from the table the truth set of this equation is n is such that n is equal to 4 so for all these numbers only n is equal to 4 satisfies this equation let's solve the second example so for question 2 a draw the addition and multiplication tables on the set t made up of elements 2 5 7 and 11 in arithmetic modulo 12 b from your table evaluate i 5 times 7 in a bracket plus 7 times 11 also in a bracket i i find n if n times into bracket n plus 2 is equal to 11 so like we did in the previous example or in the previous question let's solve this question together so first of all we are going to draw the addition and multiplication tables for this set so first of all the addition table we have 2 5 7 11 also 2 5 7 11 So now let's complete the table. Don't forget that we are still working in modulo 12. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 5 is 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. 2 plus 11 is 13. Now since 13 is more than 12, we are going to divide 13 by 12 and then we have 1, remainder 1. So this is 1. 5 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 5. So we are going to have 7. 5 plus 5 is 10, 5 plus 7 is 12, 12 divided by 12 is 1, remainder 0, 5 plus 11 is 16, divided by 12 is 1, remainder 4, 7 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 7, which is 9, 7 plus 5 is the same as 5 plus 7, which is 0, 7 plus 7 is 14, divided by 12 is 1, remainder 2. 7 plus 11 is 18, divided by 12 is 1, remainder 6. 11 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 11, so we have 1. 
11 plus 5 is the same as 5 plus 11 that is 4 11 plus 7 is the same as 7 plus 11 which is 6 and then 11 plus 11 is 22 divided by 12 is 1 remainder 10 so this is the complete addition table for modulo 12 now let's draw the multiplication table So for the multiplication table, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 7 is 14 divided by 12, 1 remainder 2, 2 times 11 is 22 divided by 12 is 1 remainder 10. 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 5 is 25 divided by 12 is 2 remainder 1. 5 times 7 is 35 divided by 12 is 2 remainder 11 and then 5 times 11 is 55 so 55 divided by 12 12 times 4 is 48 so 57 minus 48 gives 7 so that is 4 remainder 7 7 times 2 is the same as 2 times 7 which is 2 7 times 5 is the same as 5 times 7 which is 11 7 times 7 is 49 divided by 12 is 4 remainder 1 so we have 1 7 times 11 is 77 divided by 12 12 times 5 is 60 12 times 6 is 72 so 77 minus 72 is 5 so we have remainder 5 11 times 2 is the same as 2 times 11 we have 10 11 times 5 is the same as 5 times 11, which is 7. 11 times 7 is the same as 7 times 11, which is 5. 11 times 11 is 121, divided by 12 is 10, remainder 1. So this is the complete multiplication table. Now we can move on to B and then evaluate I and then II. So for bi, we are going to evaluate 5 times 7 in a bracket plus 7 times 11 also in a bracket. Now from the table, from the multiplication table, 5 times 7 is, we have 5 times 7, that gives 11. So we have 11 plus 7 times 11, this is 7 and then this is 11, so 7 times 11 is 5. So we have 11 plus 5. So to the addition table, this is 11 and then this is 5. So 11 plus 5 is 4. So that means that we have our answer to be 4. Now let's move on to II. We are going to find N if n times n plus 2 is equal to 11 so for this we are going to investigate or find the values of n that is going to satisfy this equation from the set t so we are going to put n is equal to 2 5 7 and 11 to check or to determine which of them will satisfy this equation so let's start off with n equals 2 so when n equals 2 let me do it somewhere here so when n equals 2 we have 2 2 times into bracket 2 plus 2 okay so we are going to solve bracket first 2 plus 2 we have 2 plus 2 that is 4 so that is going to be 2 times 4 now we have 2 here but we don't have 4 here so we are not going to worry ourselves with this so straight away we know that n cannot be equal to 2 now let's move on to 5 so we say that 5 times 5 plus 2 so we are going to have 5 times 5 plus 2 we have 5 plus 2 
that is 7. So we are going to multiply 5 by 7. From the multiplication table, 5 times 7 is 11. So it means that n equals 5 satisfies this equation. Let's pause here. So we have n equals 5. That satisfies this equation. Now let's continue with 7. So we are going to say that 7 times into bracket 7 plus 2. We are still going to use this equation. So that's 7 times 7 plus 2. So we have 7 plus 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 is not found in the set. So we are going to forget about this. Let's move on to 11. So that's going to be 11 times 11 plus 2 we have 11 times 11 plus 2 so from the addition table 11 plus 2 is 1 and since we don't have 1 in the table it means that we can focus on this calculation we can focus on n equals 11 so we have the answer to be n equals 5 so from the table n equals 5 satisfies the equation above. So only 5 satisfies the equation above. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.